Shalom, brothers and sisters. All praises to the Most High Yahweh in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Thank y'all for tuning in. And I'd like to say, Happy New Year, brothers and sisters. If you've been following the calendar, you know that today is the new year. Now the question is, how do we know? Well, of course, you have to use scriptures to find out. You use the book of Enoch, the book of Jubilees, and um, the regular Bible, King James, or whatever version you have. So, with the Almighty's calendar, the crucial thing is laying that out as he said, lay it out first. So you get your basic calendar format made up like this. Then you read scriptures in Genesis when he created the sun, moon, and stars, which he said keeps his time and his seasons. We know he created it on the fourth day. So naturally, why he was creating here. So the next day he would start it rotating and spinning and doing its job, their jobs. So this would be day one of your son count. And this will be day one of your moon day count or month day count the first day of the month of the first month so when you read in book Enoch it says that day 364 during the 12th month and on the 31st is the equal day and equal night and it will always stay right here on the most high calendar. This is day one. This is day 364, which will always be equal to equal night. Then right here, you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way to 14. The Passover will always be in the middle of the week, as Scripture says. Day 14 will always end up in the middle of this week. It won't be over here, over here. That's not scriptorial. It has to be right here because the Messiah was in the grave three days and three nights. And right up on the Shabbat the end of the Shabbat, he rose as it dawned toward the next day. The first day, not Sunday, but the first day of the week. When you add the Gregorian calendar to this, you defile it. You can't put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here from the Gregorian calendar. You defile his calendar like that. His Shabbats will never change. During this first month, it will always be on the 3rd, always be on the 10th, 17th, and the 24th. That will not change. You will always have the Passover on the 14th in the middle of the week, and you will always have three days and three nights later, a Shabbat, a Sabbath day, or at least in the Sabbath day, three days and three nights later. Always, every year, this is unchangeable. The Most High didn't want to bring no confusion. It's the Gregorian calendar that brings confusion, y'all. And that's why I took it off here. I, I normally mark the day here and the month of the Gregorian, and I just put it in that box. But it's too confusing to people. So, Here's the best thing to do to keep the Most High's calendar undefiled, unchangeable, immovable, and the same every year. 
you find the equal day and equal night according to what apps or whatever you can find. Like, this is from my phone right here. Where it has a day left, 12 hours and one minute. And it's actually uh, 12 hours. And, wait a minute, let me go back over here. And you have this here that says 7 hours and 24 minutes. 7 hours and 24 minutes, right? It's a 12-hour equal day. And the next day, you got extra 3 minutes added on to the day. Even right here, when you get to the Vernon Equinox on day 20, this is not an equal day and equal night, y'all. It's, look look at it. With your own eyes, look at this. Now, let's go back one. This is when I clicked on this right here. And this came up. March 16, 2024. 7 hours and 24 minutes. Sun up. 7 hours and 24 minutes. Sun down. Even though we know that's 12 hours. They put the 12 hour, 1 minute, 11 hours and 59 right here. They rounded up and rounded down over here in these sections. But it's still 12 hours. And these are two separate witnesses from two separate apps. This one right here is a separate app. And this one here is a separate app. Bearing witness. And we got another app over here that bears witness. Now this is Beaumont. 12 hours and 1 minute. Then you got 724, 725. Same thing here. But right here for, for March 16th, you have 5 hours and 47 minutes, 5.48. But look at the day length right here. It's 12 hours and 23 seconds. Whereas the next day is 12 hours and 2 minutes and uh, 20 seconds. So this happens to be the equal, equal night. But if you go forward to the Vernon Equinox, March 20th, what do you get? 12 hours and 8 minutes. This is not an equal day and equal night, brothers and sisters. And some calendars is going to have um, a different time. And that's why you got to go over, get you as many witnesses as you can, and let the Spirit leading guide you. So, once you get all of this set up, all you have to do is find a good day, good night. And then you'll, you'll know that that's day 364 and the next day is day one on, on the Most High calendar. And it just so happened to be the 16th. The good day, good night would just happen to be on Saturday, the 16th. Starting I mean, that the last day of the Most High calendar year, which making this the first day, which this makes this sack, this the 17th, March 17th is the first day of the Most High. The 18th, the 19th is the Sabbath. That's Tuesday on the Gregorian calendar. Now you see how confusing the Gregorian calendar makes Almighty Yah, just imagine for right now you didn't have the Gregorian. Just throw out this Gregorian for a second, y'all, and just act like you just was following Almighty Yah calendar every year. You would go through all the days, and it would always end up right here. It would always be the same. It won't change, y'all. Let me go over here and pull up the sixth month. Where is that? 
Here we go. Six months. And we're going to take a look at the six month. This is when you have an equal day and equal night during the six month on day 182. That's half of the year. Six month during the 31st day. It would all, it has always been equal day and equal night right here. It never changed y'all. None of the feast days never changed. The days stay the same. All the Sabbath days were always the same. They 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 never flip flop, y'all. This day never flip flop this way or that way. When you don't include the Gregorian calendar, all of this stay the same. But as soon as you include the Gregorian calendar and you try to put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, and Sunday and all that on this hill, you defile the calendar and you get confused. And that's what I still find in, in in my brothers and sisters who even make calendars. And they don't understand that you got to keep the Gregorian separate from Almighty Yahweh's calendar. Or you're going to defile it. And they're not testing these calendars right. Because they do not change. The Most High never changes. These, this calendar won't change if you test it. All you have to do from download this calendar. I got the link in the description box below. Download every day and follow it every day. Go read the scriptures. Make sure that all of this lines up. Read Genesis the fourth day when he created the sun, moon, and stars. And know that he started rotating the next day after he finished perfecting it. This is day one, according to Genesis. Naturally, this will be day 364. And you get that when it's out of Enoch. That it's going to be an equal day and equal night every year. Every single year. It won't flip-flop, y'all. I'm telling you, I tested this. It's only when you put Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday on here and start adding in the Gregorian calendar to someone, you get all this confusion going on. The Gregorian calendar is confusion and imperfect. It's meant to distort the most highest perfected calendar, which never changes. Even if you didn't have this right here, you can walk outside. And learn how to read the sky, the sun positions, and the sun length. And learn how the moon phases. And learn the star positions. Just by those three alone, you won't go wrong. You'll be able to count 12 months. And you'll go through your 30, 30, 31 cycle Four times a year. 30 for the first month. 30 for the second month. 31 for the third month. And you rinse, wash, and repeat. It's a perfect calendar that never changes. Zion was never confused, y'all. They weren't doing all this flip-flopping every year and trying to figure out when to... Does the Passover slide over here? But now it's not going to end up on the, on the Shabbat or nothing. They wasn't doing all that. Oh, now what the, the, it is, it, it flip flop. Now it's over here and now three days, two nights is on, on the first day. You see, that's confusion. You stick with scriptures and you test this calendar with scriptures. You'll see that it's right, brothers and sisters. Passover ends up every every year in the same spot. I tested this for the last since 20, 2019, 2020. 2019 all the way through to, to present. And at first I had the first day right here. When the, when the sun, moon, and stars was being created, I put day one right here. 
Then I came across Jedediah Malik's video, and he brought some correction. And I said, okay, that, you show sure right. The most high was crazy. So this can't be day one. This is day one over here. He was busy working. And, you know, he's about perfection. He's not just going to create the sun and just start it moving. And then create the moon and be out. And the moon would start moving out of whack. Then start working on stars and moving them all out of whack. No, he's going to create everything, put them in his place. Then started perfectly counting time for man. So if you get this part wrong, every month and every year is going to be wrong, y'all. These two days are crucial. The last day and the first day got to be right. But they also got to be lined up with scriptures. That's why I included scriptures. Now, um, I could I sh probably should have put um, Genesis over here. Now, notice I got the star constellations in here. But I left this spot here in particular for the moon phases for y'all to put the moon phases in. This spot is supposed to be in moon phases. This spot is for feast days. But this one here, either you were to look at the moon every day or go to some app and, and draw it in or print out. The moon phases for the month. And, and cut out and stick them on in these spots. You know, figure out how small to make them and cut them out. And every month, every day, make sure you look at apps and go outside maybe and, and stick it here. So you can know the, the moon phases for this month and every month after that. I left that for y'all homework to put in the moon. Because you do need the sun, moon, and the stars. And so I just put in the constellations and when do they change. So I, I laid a lot of groundwork for y'all. And the only thing you have to do every year is just follow day for day and, and go right here and, and figure out, okay, what day is it today? If you want to, you can mark it in this box if you want to. It's on you. But this year, I prefer not to do that. I prefer to just follow day for day the Mosai's calendar. Print it out. Get you one of those little red dot stickers or something that you can put in this box. Something that you can uh, take off and mark off every day of the Most High. Follow it. Follow it every day until you get to day 364 next year. And when you get there, then look at the Gregorian calendar and see what day it is. Is it and, and check and see is it an equal day, equal night? Did you come back to an equal day, equal night on that day? And then, of course, when you get to the sixth month, make sure this is right. This is how you test the calendar, and nothing should change. If it does change. Let me know. Let me know what changes that you done seen. But if you haven't tested this calendar, you shouldn't really be speaking and saying all manner of wild things. But it's just, this is right. Why you have to print this out, post it on your wall, and test it year for year. This is what the most I showed me. Now, I do have a calendar. But that that has the Gregorian on it. But I don't want I don't want y'all to be confused anymore. 
do it this way. Find the equal day and equal night like I did. And, and then look on the Gregory calendar and see what day it is. It was March 16th. So that's this this means it's the 17th today. 18th, 19th, Shabbat. It's on a Tuesday now. According to the Gregorian calendar. Let's see. When I first started doing Shabbats on Saturday. And I found out that the most high calendar was 364 days and not 365. I knew. I knew. Just plain simple common sense and math would tell me that something going to go wrong. Because they got an extra day. That's going to mess up the most high's days. But really, it's the Gregorian calendar. That's going to mess up and fall apart. Not the most high's. As I've seen every year, brothers and sisters. Every year I've seen the Gregorian vomit out. <laughs> get vomited out. While the perfection of the most high continued on unchangeable hallelujah so again I'm, I'm gonna make brand new videos concerning the set up of all of this and reread all the scriptures and uh we're gonna I'm going to show you, once you get your layout done and everything, and you, you understand all this, then you look on the calendar. Find your equal day and equal night according to certain, like, apps that I found that measure with some good accuracy every year the length of the sun. And it's it's it's. It's unchangeable length. It's always the same. Except for the Gregor calendar got this extra day and it. It just throws things off. It does. It does. But in any case, I I got these witnesses right here. Every year I've came out with March 16th, even though the day may have slid to the right on a Gregorian calendar. One day, March 16th stayed the same. But it, the day changed because it was extra day. So naturally, it would slide to one day of the week. As I've seen every year, the Gregorian calendar slid one day. But this year, since it's it's an extra, it's a leap year, three hundred sixty six days. It slid two days on the Gregorian calendar, but the Yah's calendar stayed the same, brothers and sisters. So with that, go over the videos about my calendar carefully. Press pause, read, get your own understanding. While you download these calendars, go over it, print it out, put it on your wall, put the Gregorian calendar on the wall right next to it, put an X on every day that passed by Almighty Yah and every day of the Gregorian calendar and keep them separate and you will see what I'm talking about when you get to the, to the end of the most highest calendar, you're going to see. Some trickery go on with the with the Gregorian. And it's gonna throw off your Gregorian days. So I knew that when we was doing the just the Saturdays, according to the Gregorian, that I knew that that wasn't right. I just didn't know how. Until I read and read and read again and got understanding and I start practicing making these calendars 
I made quite a fruit by hand with markers and pencils and pens and until I came up with what you see here. I guess I could lay it out like a regular normal calendar that you see that you put a pin on your wall. But it doesn't matter. As long as this is correct, it doesn't matter what format you got it. I mean, uh, what type it is, whether it's long ways or, it's, you know, you see, I got it. It's, it's uh, short this way and long ways vertical. But the other calendars is it's longer this way and shorter this way. So what? Mine's a little different. Long as this is correct, that's all that matters, right? All praises to the Most High. May y'all have a fruitful year and draw nearer to him and endure and be more obedient and put away your sins, transgressions, and inequities and always stay working toward those goals. And if you feel overcome or become overcome, get right back up. Repent, confess, and Get back on the, on the narrow path and keep fighting and keep putting up that armor to the finish line. We're almost there and things just going to get worse. You're going to get tested more and more. You're going to need more faith. So why do you still have time? Tackle these sins. Build up your strength. Build up your faith. Get an understanding, brothers and sisters. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom.